Hello there, I am Yasmin from My Education, My Power and in this lesson we'll discuss on English grammar, specifically on how to analyze and use determiners. Now I know this is a lesson that you need to watch. Let's get started. Where's the newspaper? Uh, it's on the sofa. Have you seen my MP3 player anyway, Varun? Yes, it's on the fridge. Do you want this bag or are you going to put it in that box? I think Varun is looking for his dictionary. Have you got it Varun? So friends, did you notice the number of determiners I have used in the sentences? Oh, you must be thinking and curious to know what are determiners. Well, here in this conversation, we find the words just before the nouns like the newspaper, the sofa, my mp3 player, the fridge, this bag, that box, his dictionary. All these words are called determiners. Now the question is, what are determiners? I would like to answer this in the simplest and the easiest way. Determiners are word we use or placed in front of a noun to make it clear what the noun refers to or we use determiners to identify the nouns like things, place, person, etc. Take a look at the following examples in these sentences. In these given sentences, the words like some, that and which are the examples of determiners as they determine the meaning of respective nouns. Let's see the sentences again. Can I have some toffees please? In this sentence, some is the determiner refers to the noun toffees. That book was interesting. Your determiner is that refers to the noun book. Which application are you using now? And here the determiner which refers to the noun application. I hope it is clear what are determiners. Now let us know more about determiners. Determiners can be specific or general. Let's see the differences between specific and general determiners. Specific determiners are used in noun when we are talking about specific people or things. Determiners like this, my, the and those are specific or definite determiners. General determiners are used in noun when we are talking about people or things in an indefinite way. Determiners like much, many, some and few are general or indefinite determiners. A determiner fixes or limits the meaning of a noun showing whether a noun is specific or general or negative. Now what is specific determiners? Specific determiners are the definite article, the. Out of three articles, the is the definite one and the other two are indefinite. Possessives My, your, his, her, its, are, their, whose are the examples of possessives. Demonstratives This, that, these, those are the examples. Basically, we use a specific determiner when we believe the listener or the reader knows exactly what we are talking about or what we are referring to. Now, let's have a look on these examples. Can you pass me the salt, please? Thank you very much for your letter. Whose coat is this? Look at those lovely flowers. In the very first sentence, determiner is the refers to the noun salt. In the next sentence, determiner is your refers to the noun letter. Next sentence, determiner is whose refers to the noun coat. And in the very last sentence, those is determiner here refers to adjective plus noun. Now let's look on general determiners. 
we use a general determiner when we are talking about things in general way and the listener or the reader does not know exactly what we are referring to the general determiners are a and any another other etc the most frequent general determiner is the indefinite article a and an used with singular nouns let's see some examples a man came this morning and left a parcel in this sentence there is only one person and one parcel so we have used a with singular nouns next example he was wearing a big coat and a cap in this sentence there is only one coat and one cap again these are singular nouns we use no determiner with plural nouns and uncountable nouns let's have the examples girls normally do better in school than boys plural nouns milk is very good for you uncountable nouns health and education are very important uncountable nouns so we use the general determiner any with a singular noun or an uncountable noun when we are talking about all of those people or things let's have the examples it's very easy any child can do it all children can do it with a full license you were allowed to drive any car means all cars I like bananas oranges apples means any fruit all kind of fruits we use the general determiner another to talk about an additional person or thing let's have the examples would you like another cup of coffee i spoke to john helen and a few other friends Let's have more examples. I received many gifts on my birthday. In this sentence, many is an example of general determiner. Those notebooks are kept on the table. Here, those is a specific determiner. I have no information about Lisa. And here, no is an example of negative determiner. Determiners can be categorized as follows: articles, demonstratives, possessives, distributive, quantifier or number expressions and interrogatives. Let us consider some examples for each category. Examples for article A, N, the, etc. Examples of demonstrative this, that, these those etc possessives my are your his her they etc examples of distributives each every etc quantifiers another many some few a lot of several and in cardinal numbers like 1 2 etc examples of interrogatives what which etc now take a look at the following sentences our new car is awesome here the word are is determiner and the word new is adjective right a determiner and an adjective can be differentiated in many ways let's see the differences between adjective and determiners An adjective qualifies a noun. Example: He is a sincere boy. In determiner, a determiner limits the meaning of a noun. Example: Most boys love watching cricket. The form of an adjective can change. Example: Smart, smarter, smartest. In determiner, determiner do not change. Example: Many, some, few. his her etc an adjective placed before the noun or as a complement of a noun example big tree 
the tree is big a determiner can come only before a noun example few apples last chance an adjective comes after a determiner example some good books were gifted to me a determiner precedes other adjectives that accompany it determiners can have different positions relative to one another example many good works some great heroes let us look at some more examples of determiners i prefer a cup of coffee here determiner is article a that cat is really cute determiner is demonstrative that is this your pen determiner is possessive your every student should be attentive in class determiner is distributive every by the end of the show few people were finally left determiner is quantifier few whose book is that determiner is interrogative whose let us quickly revise the important point about determiners to help you all to remember determiners are a group of words that determine or limit the meaning of a noun or a noun phrase in a sentence determiners are words placed in front of a noun to make it clear what the noun refers to a determiner fixes or limits the meaning of a noun or a noun phrase showing whether a phrase is definite indefinite or negative determiners can be specific or general general determiners are used in noun phrase when we are talking about people or things in an indefinite way specific determiners are used in noun phrases when we are talking about specific people or things no is a negative determiner determiner can be categorized as article distributive demonstrative possessives quantifiers and interrogatives a determiner and an adjective can be differentiated in many ways an adjective qualifies a noun while a determiner limits the meaning of a noun the form of an adjective can change while determiners do not change an adjective is placed before the noun or as a complement of a noun while a determiner can come only before a noun that's all for today keep practicing determiners i hope that you enjoyed this lesson and i'll see you again next time with the second part of this lesson usage of determiners till then take a good care of yourself bye for now